What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, recently if you've been following us on Instagram, you'll have noticed that I did put a post up saying I know I've been a little bit quiet on the whole YouTube social media front and there's a reason for that. Those of you that have been asking or wondering about the headlight restoration, there is a video coming on that as well. But today, I'm running around in the fishing van. You probably can't tell, but somewhere in the back of here, Amongst all the fishing gear and fishing rods and whatever my dad's got in here, there is some um, panels for my van. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to a top secret location, we're going to have a look around and I'm going to show you exactly what is going on. It's going to be an interesting one. Righty ho then, we have arrived. I'm here, I'm at the secret location where my van is. Now before I go and explain what's going on and the ins and outs of why we're here and why the van is here and why we've got panels for it um i'm going to just briefly show you a few things that's here a few cool things um show you a little bit of the van and then i'll explain to you exactly what is happening So as you can see I'm no longer at the garage with the van, I'm at home. First reason is it's freezing outside, second reason is I'm just distracting anyone who's trying to work on that van, me being there and three I was nearly in tears when I seen the van in the way that it was. Yeah I think a cup of tea and some biscuits was well deserved. Right, now you will remember, or you might not remember, but a while ago I did a video on things to look out for before you buy a Mark 7 Ford Transit. And it was little niggly bits, issues, bits of rust, you know, what the, just, just vaguely what to look out for. A bit of a buyer's guide before you buy a Transit. Now, in that I showed you a few things that actually were was wrong with my van that needed doing and things that crop up. It happens all the time on normal transits. This isn't just on sports. And it's getting to the point now where I felt like the van needed a bit of TLC. It's had a few harsh winters on it. Things are only going to start getting worse. And I just thought now's the time to nip it in the bud. Before it does get any worse, make sure that it's as solid, it's as good as ever underneath We've put a lot of money into the engine side of things and mechanical side of things. That's all great. Now I need to make sure that the actual van itself is as solid as it can be. So it's in good hands. It's in probably the best hands it can be in, in, in my opinion. It's getting pretty much anything that's potentially jeopardizing the structure of this van um, is getting sorted. Now, as you probably know, if you're sort of into projects and things like that, or just if you own a transit yourself, when you start pulling things apart, you start finding out more and more and more about the van and what's actually wrong with it. Um, and, you know, one problem leads to another problem and it, it goes on like that. That's what happens. But anyways, it's been a little bit of a while since I did a, an update video. So a few things that were wrong with the van was the sills where the, the door is. Um, 
on one side where the door is it was actually getting to the point where there was going to be a hole there the top of the windscreen had a few scabs on it off stone chips and whatnot from the previous owner that was starting to like look really worse for wear so i thought you know what we're going to get that done the rear arch is again another thing about these vans with the kits on them as standard they're usually all right but this kit's been off on my van because it's been painted and the previous owner i don't know how it's been stuck back on but what happens is if if is any sort of ability for water to get inside the kit where the arches are and stuff the water just sits in there and it just deteriorates the arches so this needs two rear arches on it and then underneath we're going to go to town so we're going to have i'm going to have the hole underneath basically stripped back we're going to try and get as much surface rust off as possible and the whole lot is going to be wax oiled now the reason we're going for wax oil over under seal is because on these vans or anything really especially on these vans i've noticed anyways when the under seal them when it cracks which it will eventually crack and a little bit will come away the water sits inside the under seal and it just sits there and just rots so we don't want that happening and i want to kind of try and preserve the van for as long as possible and make sure it's as solid as it can be as it is my daily driver and i want to look after it it's an everyday well used van that needed a bit of tlc and hopefully now once all this is done it's a better peace of mind for me and it's going to look the business but i just wanted to update you lot so what i think i'll probably do is when i'm down there doing a little bit of work myself maybe use the under sealing side of things i'll do a little bit of a further update video and then once it's all done and hopefully it's looking a million dollars then i'll do a, a massive walk around video and show you exactly what's being done and how good it looks something i just want to mention as well before i let you go what i want to do is i'm going to start a discord server now if you're not familiar with discord it's basically like a community page and it would be great i'd really love it if as many people could get in there as possible we're just going to be able to chat there's going to be voice chats on there we'll be able to share updates and pictures of what everybody's doing follow each other's progress i want it to be a friendly environment where you can just go chill out if you need to ask something you've got any questions hopefully me or somebody else in there will have the knowledge or an answer for you or be able to point you in the right direction you'll get updates as well every time i post a video i would absolutely love to speak to every single one of you guys as well that are there so if you're interested in that and you want to jump in i'm gonna leave the discord link in the description down below get involved have a look if you haven't got a discord account just sign up make sure you've got the app downloaded on your phone thank you guys so much for your time once again i'm getting back onto the youtube front now there's going to be plenty more videos to come enjoy the rest of your day have a fantastic week and i'll see you guys in the next video